Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Mole Mania, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now if I said this in part 1, I was actually wrong when I said you needed all 100 points to actually get something good. Turns out it doesn't do anything special except for bragging rights. Really what you need to do to get to level 8 is just beat all 7 levels, regardless of your score. But I will try to get all 100 points just for the sake of doing it. Anyways, let's do level 2, which looks like a beach-themed world. Oh, I can actually dig down here. Oh god, five signs! Number 1, 100 point tips. Get all 20 cabbages. Now you've got 40 points. Yes, 40 points for the cabbages alone. Destroy all the exits. Now you've got an extra 20 points. Which will add up to a total of 60 if you factor in the cabbages. Find the map and items. 10 points for each. That's 20 points for a total of 80. You must win the bonus round. Get rid of every cabbage. If Jinbei hits you, you'll lose 5 seconds. Yeah, so I was right. If you get hit, you'll lose time. If you didn't get 100 points, go back and find everything you missed. So yeah, the bonus will add up too. Alright, let's go and actually do the level. I'm Sundays! My light will blind you. I'll be waiting. Ho 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 ho! Well, that's not good at all. I gotta deal with the sun! It's gonna be very interesting. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm gonna kill you now. Oh, this will be perfect. To get 100 points, if you want 100 points, go to level 1, read the signs, and follow the directions. Uh, no. I'm not going back just to read signs. Oh, wait a minute, I can't do it this way. Wait a minute, I can actually go through here. Let me take care of the cabbage. Whoops. Ooh, I almost got hit. Subscreen. Use the icon in the lower right corner to return to the level select screen. Well, I already knew that. If I get hit, so be it. Wait. You know, there's a better way to do this. Let's just get the enemy killed first. Then I'll take care of things the right way. As I should. There, perfect. Don't have to worry about that other enemy. That's for a store. Okay, so obviously you don't get those items back. You have to find them again in this level. But that's to be expected. Let's put this cabbage in there first. And let's say I'm gonna dig right here. Pull, then push. Done. Just like that. I'm gonna read the sign. Escape. The icon next to level select is escape. You'll go back to the level you cleared last. No way, when he was talking about, like, level one, he meant this place, like the first room. Yeah, I got a bit confused. I thought he meant room one. That would have made more sense to do that. Okay, let's see how I'm gonna deal with this particular room. Okay, I found the map. I can dig here. Let me deal with the cabbage first. In case I get hit, I can get that heart back. Whoops. Ah, the hell, I'll just dig over here. Because I'm not gonna bring that ball over there. This is what I needed to do. This over here. Then I can just throw it back up and into the door. And there we go. Problem solved. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. I meant to get a charge first. Now I can get the map. Alright. Map obtained. I'll just grab that anyway, just because. 
All right, obviously it's a bit bigger than level one. Instead of 16 rooms, you have a total of 18 rooms. <laughs> Challenge accepted, let's go. Yeah, you can die now. Uh, yeah, you can die too, why not? Everybody dies, especially you. And you. You know what, I'm just gonna get rid of you two, in case you get in the way. There we go, making progress. Now I can get to the other side. Throw the ball over here. I mean, this puzzle is quite easy. And I can see flowers, that means we're pretty close to a healing stall. And there's nothing underground. Alright, I can deal with that. This room doesn't seem too hard either, just a lot of holes. And there's nothing underground. Therefore, I'll try to make as few holes as possible. To make it easier for me. But first, let's get rid of the cabbage. Then I can get rid of you, you stupid dino. I don't really care what your exact name is, so I can find it online. To me, you're just a dino. Enough said. Yeah! Die, Goomba ripoff! You're a little bit fat. Lose some weight, man! Yeah, I'm starting to hate you guys. You seem to be showing up a lot. I don't like that. Okay, first, I'm just gonna, let's see, get rid of the ball, so I can create the pathway. And that's all, that's all I need to do. Done. Now I can deal with the cabbages, and there's a locator, down there. So now I can go get it with ease. Not have to worry. Perfect. Ah, uh, no health, but I'll talk to you. But, but I'm not stuck. I can still do this level. But at least if you do get stuck, you can actually just go and try a different one. Oops, I'm stuck. You can't walk through spikes. Roll a ball or a cabbage onto them. Wait, do you get hurt if you walk on them? No, you just can't hit them all together. But you can, like, roll balls or cabbages across. Which is pretty neat. You have to dig right underneath to get through. But I can deal with that. These enemies look a bit weird, even though they have the same pattern as dinos. It's really nothing any different. Let me go back and deal with the cabbage. If anything, if you're very good at these puzzles, it'll probably take you, I believe, a couple hours, maybe three, four hours, minimum. Probably more than that if you struggle at some puzzles, which will likely happen. Okay, there's the other stall. Let's see what's underneath. Ah, it takes you to a different room. This leads to the bonus. So we got to that one a bit early compared to World 1. We all know the rules. Okay, and the layout's gonna be different. Yeah! Idiot. Yeah, that's what you get, you little dip bitch! I'll dig another hole and put it over here. Ow. Oh, I can still get it. See? Oh, you were trying to go for my ass. Too bad. Now give me damn 20 points. Yeah. Okay, so I can't do anything in this particular screen yet. 
But we'll have to find another way to get there. We got what we came for, which was the bonus. Wait, I don't think I can get underneath that. Can I? Wait. Can I get over there? No, no, no. It has to be, like, from another side. It seems. Fair enough. I'll just find another route. See? It was that simple. Okay, these enemies can be tricky because they go in a certain pattern. Like, they tend to make a nice bit of turns. Usually right against a certain area. Like, he was going around this. Be a peeping Tom. Press B while underground to look above ground. Enemies above ground can't hit you. From old man. Unless they can actually attack underground. Like Jinbei can in the bonus games. So I'm unable to clear this particular room, but I will later. Instead, let's get rid of these enemies over here before they become a nuisance. Hmm. Let me get rid of, like, the ball first. Then I'll go for the cabbages. Because if I don't, then I'm probably going to have a lot of problems on my hands. Or at least move the ball forward and get rid of some cabbages on the back. I mean, that's all you need to do. Okay, I'm definitely not digging out from here. But I can go over here. There, that's all you need to do. Now I can get to the other side, and there we go. Like, there are multiple ways to solve some puzzles, but these are the ways that I'm used to. Hey, hey, you. You with that smiley face. Come down here, die! Alright, it seems that I am going to have to go this way. Wait, I can still get to that. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm gonna take a hit. No, I'm not! I did take a hit! Wow! Didn't think it was still gonna happen. But it did. This is what I wanted to do. Now I have to head back. I'll get that heart back, which is a good thing. Not that I'm suffering in any way, but still. I'll dig a hole over there for the cabbage. There. And I'll get that recovery underground too. Try to get all the items. Even if you're not going to use them. Ah, floating fish! That's so cute! Kill him! Uh, you too! You're allowed to die now. Okay, if I do the backflip, it's going to go in the other hole. Or the back throw, I mean. There, problem solved. Anything? Okay, the surrender. All right, we're making a lot of good progress here. Okay, yeah, I won't be able to take the ball and just throw it over there. I'll have to find another way. Wait, let me get rid of this enemy first. Actually, I can get rid of all these enemies. Ah, what the hell, I'll just use the cabbages. I just had to time it right. That way, it'll make my path a little easier when I go to solve the puzzle. Push it over here so I can actually pull it back. Remember, if I put the ball over here, I can't pull it because of the other spikes. Dig underground, which is good. And now I can do my back throw. Done. It was that simple. Okay, I can't get to that sign underground because it's on the other side. And there's another healing stall. So just for the sake of completion... There. And there's a little shortcut for later on, too. On the level select screen, before entering a level, press select to restart it. 
Okay, so if you want to start a level over, just press select on the level you're on. Like on the world map, and there you go. You can actually redo it. If you were bored, or you finished a level but didn't get full completion, and you're a bit stuck and want to start over, that's your call. Uh, how the hell am I supposed to get over there? Okay, I know how now. Yeah, you better get away. Hmm. I just have to dig over here. I don't want to create too many holes. Done. Now, is there another hole I can look for? No. Okay, so I'm approaching the boss room. I did not need that heart, but I'll pick it up anyway. Done! Yeah. And this should be the last of the cabbages. Yep, it is. Now I can go in here. Who's Sundays? You've got to hit him with a ball and drop him into the water. Get underground for his flash attack from Old Man. Usually when you look underground near the boss room, or at the boss room, well, just before the boss room, or a room adjacent to it, you'll find hints. Sunglasses! You need sunglasses beyond this point. The glare could blind ya. Uh, I'm already wearing sunglasses, you tool. They won't help you against a blind attack. Here it comes! Get underground! Okay, now he's cooled down. Okay, now I gotta knock him into the water. Preferably when he's closest. And it was just like that, we're done. That was a very easy boss fight. It's just a matter of timing until when you can throw the other ball. I saved the second kid, yeah! Come to me, son, I love you! Whee! Whee! Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, Butterfingers. Whoa! You just went around the world, man! Now I'm having a seizure! Good to know my kids care about my well-being. Okay, that only took 12 minutes and 5 seconds for full completion. Alright, we're making very good progress. So, that's two levels down. And next, we're gonna do level three, which is another four stage. And we'll take care of that in the next part. Goodbye.